So, uh, today, Tom. Today, yes. What are we looking at? We're going to look at Micro Machines to start. Oh, with. I think out of all the uh, games on the Mega Drive, Micro Machines is one of the all-time classics. It's one of my favourites. One of my many favourites, in fact. Great. There was many, many of them, of course. Micro Machines 1, 2, Turbo Tournament, 96, Military. Uh, and then it went off onto the N64, PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS now. And there's many, many of them. A great franchise, I think oh, you'll yes. all agree. For anyone else who's, uh, who's played Micro Machines, I assume most have probably played at least one Micro Machines game in their, in if, their time. If you haven't, where have you been? And if you haven't, Gary's going to give us a, a bit of a rundown on, on what was available on the, on the Mega Drive. And yep. A bit about these, these classic... Classic yeah, games. Classic games, of course. So here we've got Micro Machines 1. Now, we'll just point out we're not actually playing this on the Mega Drive. Uh, purely because we don't have Micro Machines 1 on the Mega Drive. So we're actually playing the CDI version here, which is slightly uh, different. Uh, it has CD sound, so you've got music on the races. We're going to go with Qualifying Race for Power Boat. Yeah, we'll point out here that on the CDI version, you get a little CG introduction that sadly you don't actually get on the Mega Drive version. Nice little uh, feature there, isn't it, really? The CDI version does feel quite quite sluggish in places. I don't know if, because having not actually played much of the original Mega Drive, uh, Micro Machines 1, I'm, I'm not sure how the two versions compare, but it's a good, it's a good port. Uh, here we are, I'm racing in the yellow boat. Uh, layer 1 as you go in the red car. Yeah, interesting that, isn't it? It's only the Micro Machines 1 you need to get even yellow. Yeah, well, unless you go multiplayer. Yeah. What about that green one? Nice. Oh, I like the green car. <laughs> I like green. Uh, in the bathtub. You can tell that's the bathtub. There's George, the duck over there. They yeah, were course. coming first. So this is you qualified now for, 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 for the uh, first race of the... Uh... Oh yes, for the series. What mode are we on here, Gary? We're on the uh, challenge mode here. This is where you go against through all the courses and you go against every single character here you see. As you can see, we've chosen Walter, your main man there, Tom. Uh, which oh, I love Walter. You know you do. Uh, Dwayne here. Uh, have a bit of a scroll around to see who else we could have a good race against. We decide to go with Chen here. It's cool that you can pick who you're racing against. Uh, that's a pretty neat feature. In the later games, it, the computer chose you for you, which is a bit of a shame. But. Okay, so this that's unique to my computer's one. And what have we got here? Uh, this was like in the toy world where you have your carry case, and uh, when you race, it comes up with what you're going to race as, and when you win, you win, uh, win that car. Oh, so you collect, collect the cars as you win the races. That, that's a nice feature. Uh, we'll get ready. So we're going to race on the, the breakfast bends. We're going to race on a, a tabletop. Oh yeah. great! Oh cool! Oh, so here we are. What what vehicle are we we driving here? Four by four Landro. Uh, I think it's buggies. I think must be buggies. Looks like buggies. Uh, potato waffle there. The track is laid out with uh, Cheerios or Wheatos. Oh, we we won't be specific, and, and and we're not trying to plug any of these cereals uh, on Blast Process. But uh, <laughs> it's neat how they laid out the track like this, using the uh, objects that you might find on a, a kitchen table, for instance, and the hazards like orange juice, for example. Or is it? No, we won't go. We're not going to plug anything now. As you see in the top left, we have uh, yeah, how many laps you're doing. Uh, we've got three laps to go all the way round. Uh, we're in first place currently by the helmets sir. Uh, so do you get to choose what colour car you are, Gary? Uh, no, in the first one you start off as the yellow one and then you end up in the late series you end up going as the red car. I always wanted to go as the green car, but uh, you can't do that unless you play multiplayer mode. Oh, what, what a shame. I know, I saying that. Ah, there we see, we've qualified there. Spider, main man. Oh, unfortunately Walter's coming in third place. Oh, Dwayne, he's Dwayne not very happy about it, does he? Dwayne doesn't look very happy. It's quite amusing to see little animals. Chen's just quite, you know, he's quite laid back about the whole thing. Uh, he's kind of smug, really, isn't he? Uh, there we go, we're going to go into the sports cars, the second race of the Challenge Series. Cool, so what's the difference between uh, driving a sports car and driving, say, the vehicle you drove on the first track there? Speed, really, isn't it? It's going to be a lot faster, maybe a little bit difficult to control, slide around a bit more. It's like you would in real life, really. It's like so, so what what track, uh, we, where are we racing now? Is this like a table? I think it's a school, de it's a school desk. It looks like a school desk or worktop. So you see with pencil sharpeners and crayons, chalk. I think it's a school top 
See how like I'm getting a little bit sideways there. I mean, jumps. That's not in the first race as well, including jumps now. I think I think one of the strengths is of why American machines are so much fun is the track design is really inventive and interesting, oh, yeah. and the way the things on the table are used to create obstacles is just really clever. I, I love that with the uh, the file there you, you jumped up over. So what we've got here now, Gary, uh, is... Uh, we've got Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament. As you can see, this is actually on the Sega Mega Drive now. We've got that. This is uh, new options here that we've talked about. We've got Time Trial, Super League as well, head-to-head. We've to got head. the challenge mode that was only original uh, Micro Machines. Hey, these characters are looking a bit different here. The spider's got a little bit of upgrade. He's got a bit of 5 o'clock shadow there. Bruno's a new guy. Uh, Dwayne's Dwayne. back. Uh, Cherry. Cherry looks a little bit more... Uh, yes, yeah, we'll yeah, Jeff Rose we'll back. Maria, she's new Violet. Violet, yeah. Spider's be, girlfriend. Be the, be the idol's girlfriend, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Edna, Aye. Sui, Jeremy. What happened to Walter? Walter's put on a he... bit more weight, I think. Lisa. Uh, Emil. Yeah, Davy, Deloria. And Chen. Chen's. I don't know what's happened to Chen there. He's gone a bit weird. And you get to choose your name. You can put your own name in if you want, like Tom or me. So what we're racing on now are these new vehicles? ATVs, uh, these, three wheelers. Were these on the original uh, Micro Machine? Uh, no they weren't, uh, as you can see I went backwards a little bit. But you race as the red car, as I said earlier, you race as the red car and uh, you drive along in the back garden here, again top down view. So everything about the uh, what made the first uh, Mike Pins game so good is is still in obviously Mike oh, yes. 2. They, they haven't messed with the, the winning formula. No, they've just given a little bit of upgrade as you can tell. Uh, the graphics, they seem a little bit more clearer. You yeah, can, it looks like a faster game as well. And uh, the computer drivers are, are gone a bit different. There's the yellow cars a bit slow here, and uh, the blue cars are giving me a, a bit, bit more aggressive as well than uh, I noticed in the original yeah. Micro Machines. They're really fighting for it this time, which is always good. And uh, new a little bit of a setup here, yeah. The podiums which were in the original. Uh, uh, maybe that's why he's gone a little bit bigger because he's chewing his steering wheel. I see. Uh, He's eating too many of those steering wheels. Yes, and as I said before, you don't get to choose your opponents, the computer chooses it for you. This looks similar, slightly similar to school death, but this looks like a workbench. Yes, you've got chainsaw, you've got uh, so that's, that's, drills. It's still the same sports cars, but they've, they've changed the setting just I a little I think bit. it's rally cars this time. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's definitely rally cars, oil slicks there, and uh, first aid kit. Now that's an interesting feature. So if you go on to win a race in a fast time, you automatically come first. And you don't have to complete the three laps. Oh wow, and that wasn't the original? No. Uh, we're racing as uh, beach buggies here in the sand. I like racing in the sand. Though it's quite sometimes difficult to see like where the boundaries is and there's a lot more obstacles to throw you off the track here. The water, shells, cans and ice cream cones. And uh, I noticed, remember just, if you go over them where the water is, if you go near, too near the edge, they come inwards and then it leaves you with like only a little thin bit of racing line left. And it's quite difficult later on in laps, but it's quite amusing to do that to computer drivers and watch them go off. Now what you're about to see here is something that I remember finding when I was a little kid. Uh, as in you go around here, there's two wall pages here and there's an extra life there. Now, I can't remember if there's any other extra lives on any other track. But if anybody knows anything different, please just email to Blaps Process and uh, see if you know any more information. We'd be interested to find out if there's any more scattered about on the, any of the Olympic levels.